Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. So we're going to be talking today about impairments in glycogenolysis, okay? So, and before we continue, I would like to share with you um, Psalm 5 to, I mean Psalm 135, 5 to 7, and says that the, for I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, He does, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. He it is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth, who makes lightnings for the rain, and brings forth the wind from His store houses. Amen. This is Psalm 135, 5 to 7. Because he's the owner of everything. Amen. So now we're going to be studying the impairments in glycogenolysis. So to understand this, we are going to draw um, a pathway. And as we draw the pathway, so then we're going to see different diseases. We're going to see enzymes, okay? So, well, let's just start and continue. First, okay, I just start to draw before I continue. Um, yeah, so um, it should be important that we see this diagram. So probably we're going to split it in three slices or four depend so but I start over with this um, yeah so basically we have this group here the blue one and then we have an enzyme here um, we're going to have um, no the enzyme is not yet so here we're going to have the one of one four alpha alpha is like this glycosidic bone okay now it is in the position one and in the position four so so basically we count here one two three four so here should be this one okay now then you're going to have uh, another in the position here it's a position six it's called one six alpha glycosidate bone okay so oh sorry you can skip bones here so i'm going to just copy here the alpha glycosidase and then i put the numbers there you go so that save time Okay, and then we, we know, yeah, there you go, done. And now we know that it is, this one is the 1,6. One, okay, 1,6 one, alpha glycosidic bone. Okay, now, this pathway can go to the right side or can go down. If we go to the right side, it's going to be, there is going to be an engulfment by lysosomes, which is going to be here, okay? engulfment by lysosome and after that so so and then you will go to glucose but you need an enzyme an enzyme that we need here is called acid alpha glucosidase oh no let's go glucosidase okay that is an enzyme if there is a deficit of the acid alpha glucosidase is going to produce a disease and the disease is called Pompey disease 
or type 2 type 2 Pompey disease so this Pompey disease how is going to present so the patient is going to have normal glucose okay the patient is going to have severe cardiomegaly so it's going to have a huge heart the patient also is going to have glycogen accumulations in lysosomes okay okay so yeah so basically this is part of this is one part now we go to the other side of the pathway from top to bottom and here you're going to see that phosphate is going to enter here let me just okay so I think I'm gonna need some more room here so you said you have phosphate here p1 phosphate is going to be i mean it's going to uh, glucose one phosphate and that is another enzyme and this enzyme is called glycogen phosphorylase now that is a disease that is going to affect this one and is called type 5 McCart disease so type 5 McCardo disease has a deficit of the glycogen phosphorylase how does this patient is going to present so macardo m for macardo and for muscle muscle phosphorylase deficiency it's another enzyme there you go phosphorylase deficiency also the patient is going to present with weakness and fatigue during exercise so weakness and fatigue you know, exercise or with exercise um, one more here so there is no rise in the blood lactate levels after exercise so that means that after exercise the lactate level or the lactate level in blood does not rise okay so this is my card disease okay so I'm going to just do square here for pumpies that we keep some room okay now after we have that so we saw ty um, type 2 pumpy disease we saw McCart disease and after you use your glycogen phosphorylase you will have this chain here which is going to be like this so you have the position four five six okay then you have uh, let me just put the numbers here four five six okay so then we are going to have um,
so egg mars So here basically this is how the branches look like, okay? Um, yeah, so I draw it and so now that is going to be another change and there should be another enzyme I'm going to write down here the enzyme and then I'm going to open a new slide to continue, okay? So um, before, well, before I write the enzyme, so here should be um, this is a limit by dextrin. Okay. Okay, now we can use the enzyme here. It is the debranching enzyme. So you can see how everything is debranching. So, the branching enzyme. And this is the branching enzyme has its alpha. One four alpha one four. Sorry, it should be coma instead of yeah, the hive. So alpha one four go to so I will write it um, here at the bottom better. There we go. So I go to alpha 1 for transferase okay so alpha 1 for transferase okay yeah so then this debranching enzyme you will see the change in the orange so let's just open a new slide so to continue okay let me just draw it first so this is how it looks like so let's just see again come back here so if you can see here you have your position four five and six which is in in the blue one okay and then you have your one two three in the position that is coming from the blue one the position basically could be eight or so then you apply, I mean, then you use the enzyme, the branching enzyme. And this is a branching enzyme alpha 1, 4 that go to alpha 1, 4 transferase. This one is going to have a disease, but we're not going to discuss right now the disease because the disease that we're going to see in the next page, okay? Because needs needs two enzymes. Um, or in in the different parts and we're going to just go one time we introduce the other enzyme the second enzyme well now you see how it looks like this branch so now this is after you use the enzyme alpha 1 uh, to alpha 1 for transfer this is how it looks like so now the orange that was uh, here so now is going to join to this part the blue one and then you have your one two three orange and then you get your four five four five and six as was before and then you get just a little bit of this one in the position eight okay now this this one time you have that so this one is going to to be and another is going to 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 have is going to the the branch is going to change but to change again you need what you need another enzyme and the enzyme that is going to be working now is called as well the branching enzyme is it is still the branching enzyme but this the branching enzyme right now instead of being um alpha one four to alpha one four transfer is now going to be alpha one six glucosidase now i would like to mention that a disease that is going to be here with this one and then the other enzyme that comes that I was in the previous slide so that 
the enzyme was this one so that the branching enzyme alpha 1 transferase okay that one I'm going to write it down here so the branching enzyme um, alpha yeah alpha 1 for uh, this one is the transferase I go here transferase okay so yeah there we go so now basically this patient that I'm going to introduce now has a deficit of these two enzyme so um, so let's just do better here okay so yeah this patient has a disease and it's called Corey's disease okay it's called Corey's disease and Curry's disease is type 3 okay it's type 3 got it so now Curry's disease is going to present with heparomegaly um, he's going to present with ke ketotic hypoglycemia okay so that's mean hypoglycemia also this patient is going to present with hypotonia and weakness so low tone hypotonia and weakness uh, also this patient is going to present with um, abnormal glycogen with a very short outer chains okay normal glycogen with very short outer chains okay outer chains now so this is a Curry's disease okay type 3 yeah type 3 let me, okay yeah so but now you mentioned that do you remember I mentioned that these one two three four five six all this is going to change when you apply when you use the branching enzyme alpha one glucosidase yes so let's just do the, the results now so basically we're going to have here one two three four five six okay so now you have six Yeah, so the disease is uh, type one, as I was mentioning, and yeah, type 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 one von Georg's disease. Okay, so von Georg um, disease, every disease. Uh, okay, probably look looks looks too crowded there, so let's just better put it at the bottom. We have enough room, so yeah. So von Georg disease. Is going to be characterized by we can mention just four things here. The first one is heparomegaly and steatosis. And steatosis. Okay. So yeah, so basically steatosis uh, is any fatty change. Um could be in the heart or in the liver or in another place. Type type one von Georg disease also can present with um, fasting hypoglycemia and also hypoglycemia. And also with lactic acidosis. And 
then uh, one more hyperuricemia so which is high levels of urea in in the blood hyperuricemia and hyperlipidemia so basically has a lot of problem with uh, lipids or could be fats or um, urea okay so it's a von Georg's disease and then yeah so basically remember that this glucose it is at the end this glucose it is in the liver okay okay so during the pathway we saw a few diseases okay so i'm going to just uh, main mention the name of the disease so we saw McCarthy disease, okay, which is the type five, okay, type five. We saw Pompey disease, okay, which is the type two. Oh, sorry. We saw Cori's disease, which is the type three. We saw the type one, the type one, and the name of this one is von Georg disease. Okay. Now we give some clues of each of those diseases, but now I would like to talk a little bit more about Pompey's disease. Okay, so which remember is first is type two. How I remember is how many so the, this one pumpy disease because related with the heart we have one heart okay we have one heart but this has four chambers two on the top and two at the bottom so two and two is four so type two okay two times two okay also another way that i remember is pumping so the, like pump and your heart is pumping, so pump is disease. Okay, like pump. Now, this condition, as we mentioned before, it is caused because there is a deficit of one enzyme, and the enzyme is acid alpha glucosidase. Okay, so which is also known as uh, acid maltase okay so and then we can just check the diagram first here do you see alpha acid alpha glucosidase just right here when then you go to glucose so yeah so right there this is going to cause pompey disease now pompey disease as I mentioned, acid maltase, okay. So, but what is the function of this, or what is the responsibility of this enzyme? So basically, it's responsible to break down glycogen. So you break down glycogen, okay. Glycogen where within the acidic environment of lysosome so within the acidic in the lysosome so that basically this is just the one that we saw in the um here here okay now we can continue most of the glycogen so this glycogen this glycogen mostly is 
the glycogen mostly is degraded where in the cytoplasm okay so but that is a small amount is in and really engulfed by lysosome okay so there is just small amount of lysosomes especially in cells containing high amounts of glycogen such as hepatocytes and myocytes so that's mean that if you have for example the myocytes or the muscles i mean <laughs> sorry myocytes is that was cells of the muscles or the hepatocytes because they are because they have high amounts of glycogen so they c the lysosomes can engulf can engulf the lysosome can engulf some of those okay um, yeah so basically yeah now when the patient has this as if um maltase deficiency we're going to result in this accumulation of the glycogen in the liver and in the muscles okay so now deficit of the maltase so deficit of the maltase um yeah so uh, cause um, accumulation of this glycogen in the muscle okay and then um so I wrote it down here okay so what's happened now remember that the heart and the cardiac muscle are particularly susceptible and the, the baronic lysosome interfere with the contractive function so for this reason the myocytes are also in the heart and then it's going to get dilated so more big and then it's hard to contract okay so but which one is dilated big phylos by because of the lysosomes okay now this disease is a classical form of the disease it is usually present in infancy okay they present with cardiomegaly okay so they present with generalized hypotonia they can present with macroglosia so big tongue they can present with hepatomegaly and makes sense because as we mentioned that if affect the hepatocyte so lysomes get engulfed and then going to increase the size of the cells causing hepatomegaly is here heart pass uh, occur the same cardiomegaly then hypotonia because muscles affected and then well macroglosia do you remember that the tongue has muscles well there we go um the blood levels of glucose are normal in this patient unlike with glycogen surge diseases that primarily affect the liver so for example in von Georg disease that is the type 1 that we saw before they have problem with the levels of glucose because they will have fasting hypoglycemia the patient that has um, von Georg disease okay now um 
so how we're going to identify this so how to diagnose so do biopsy of the muscle and then you will see then we see what do you think that we're going to see glycogen where in the lysosomes so I will I will do something better here I will move this here okay because I was running out of room there okay so or yeah that's okay um, yeah or let just do something yeah just put a little bit more up okay that's fine yeah in the lysosome okay Yeah, so I think I probably, oops, sorry, it should be black. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah, just move a little bit more up. Yeah, so I think that basically this is for von Gerg disease, for McCart disease, for Pompey disease, for Curry's disease. And, yeah, so there were all the pathway, I mean, the pathways are connected with all these diseases. And also, we learn a little bit more about pump disease. Okay, remember that for your heart, too. And, and yeah, so basically, it's that. And thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, we can continue learning his name and we can do all things through Western Dance Club.